Hello, my name is Michael Heisen. I am a United States Navy veteran and founder of Fashion Has Heart. Fashion Has Heart is an initiative that pairs wounded veterans with creative designers from top retail brands. Together, for one week, the veteran and the designer comes to Grand Rapids, Michigan in hopes of collaborating on designs that are turned into apparel and accessories. Lieutenant Colonel Kathy Champion was one of our wounded veterans that we worked with this past year. Her story is truly remarkable and inspiring and is something that we would like to share with the entire world. We teamed up with the Kala Project to showcase not just Kathy's, but the four remaining wounded veteran stories and we need your help. As you watch this remarkable story of Lieutenant Colonel Champion, please consider supporting this initiative to help tell the stories of the remaining wounded veterans and inspire many other wounded veterans around the country. Please enjoy the video. My name is Kathy Champion. I served in the United States Army and I am a wounded warrior. It was supposed to be an easy day because we were just going to hit the green zone and then head back out to Abu Ghraib. and <laughs> it turned out to be a nightmare of a day. The only time I remember is waking up in Longstool and them telling me that I was in a wreck. We were maybe a mile outside the gate when, it, when we hit, when the ID went off. Our vehicle was crushed and unfortunately, you know, some people didn't make it. When I was trying to deal with my health issues, um, I spent a lot of time on the beach in the, near the water and listening to the waves and just focusing on the waves to take my mind off the headaches. And I was blind and it was kind of weird to admit that I needed help. I'm an old fart. <laughs> I was in the military over 27 years. Um, I've always been in command positions. I've served in four combat zones and I was awarded the Bronze Star for Valor for what I did in combat. Um, and you, you think that little star is gonna change your opinions, but those awards don't make you any stronger. And I don't know, because I felt like I failed those five people in combat. I, you know, I felt like if I made different decisions or if I did different things that maybe those people would be home today instead of in a box somewhere. You know, I decided this last year, this year, to, I don't know how to explain it other than to start experiencing life again and getting to know people and not being afraid to expound my little world of only me and my dog. Our hero is blind, so to to talk, and she she is very visual in what she talks about. And she's very visual in the things that she wants. To have her explain that, and then us try to explain in words this visual thing that we're making for her, I think is going to be a really cool challenge in it. It seems to be a pretty unique challenge to to work with someone that likely doesn't have any uh, art or design background. She has such a positive outlook on life, and she just gives this vibe. You kind of just are drawn to her, and you can't stop laughing around her and has so much life to her so I hope that that can um, come through in the design. The Fashion Has Heart has given me a different medium to show that I, I, I am healing and that I am moving forward. I wanted people to see that I am not stuck in the past. Yes, it happened to me. Yes, I was there. Yes, I had an adversity I had to overcome, but I'm moving forward. The blue with the gator texture on it reminds me of the waves in the ocean. And then the orange is fire to me. And then there's five stars. Each of those stars are for the individuals I lost in combat. And I, wanted, I want them to always be remembered. You know, they, they sacrificed their lives and I don't want them to think that they'll ever be forgotten. And then the yellow emulates the sun, which is, means life. Without the sun, there is no life. And to me, I have a new life. So when 
somebody looks at that boot, I want them to be cheery, happy, and upbeat. I want to move on to the future. I want it to be a bright future. My name is Kathy Champion. I served in the United States Army, and I am a wounded warrior. Wow. Uh, first of all, thank you. Um, my name is Michael Hyacin, uh, and I am a, a Navy veteran, and I, it's an honor to actually be here and be a part of this unique experience. Before I begin, I'd like to first acknowledge all the veterans who are here today. Thank you for your service and your sacrifices. If it was not for you guys, TEDx would not be possible. So, what is freedom? What does freedom, creativity, military, veterans have to do in a TEDx conversation? Well, let me tell you, it has everything to do with this conversation each and every single day. The freedoms that we get to express, explore, and create with our minds and hands is because of a soldier like Tech Sergeant Del Toro sacrifice his hands so that we can utilize ours freely. It is because of a colonel who lost her eyesight in combat that we can sit here and visually express ourselves. It is because of her we sit here today freely with the ability to see and create perhaps the next American iconic brand. Now, many of us know how powerful creativity can be for the mind, body, and soul. I, personally, created Fashion Has Heart not because I had a desire to create, and my wife will let you know that I can't create, but because I saw how powerful and therapeutic the process can be. And I'm sure each and every one of us here knows that as well. Creativity unleashes abilities that we can only imagine. It allows a wounded veteran to utilize parts of his or her brain that he or she has never been able to actually utilize. It allows the veteran to understand that just because the body's been injured doesn't mean the mind has to die or the heart has to die. And creativity can do that. Fashion has heart. I created Fashion Has Heart while I was actually familiarizing myself with Art Prize. And I was inspired by a local Marine who was killed in combat, my wife's cousin. It was the time that I was actually traveling from New York City to Grand Rapids, and I'll let you guys know right now, it's my wife who brought me here, so. You guys have to thank her for any good that comes out of Fashion Has Heart as well. So, here it is. My family is in mourning, and, but the community is so excited with art and creativity. So here I am, torn. So much excitement, but yet so much pain. For days, I would be contemplating, how can we actually unify these two distant universes? Military and creativity. How can we begin to bridge the gap? So here it is, Fashion Has Heart. Fashion Has Heart is an initiative that actually helps to rehabilitate and provide opportunities for these wounded veterans. For one week, we actually bring these veterans to West Michigan, and we partner them with designers from around the country. Together, they create designs that help communicate, rehabilitate, and allow them to express themselves in a manner never seen before. Not only are they actually getting rehabilitated, but so are the designers that we've actually partnered them with. We spoke with uh, Chuck Anderson, who is a good friend of mine and one of the, I think, one of the, the best designers in West Michigan, and I asked him, what has this done to you? He said, Michael, this has completely changed my life. Now I'm able to actually work with the wounded veteran and see how I've actually been benefited 
from their sacrifices. Totally remarkable. So what can we do to continue this initiative? Better yet, what can you do to, to, uh, to actually help further this conversation and help us bridge the gap? I'll tell you a bit about how we're furthering this process. Uh, we recently just visited the White House, and we were able to, to meet with the chief technology officer to help us actually really understand how the federal government can support us in helping to provide other opportunities for wounded veterans. Fashion Has Heart is working with a local technology firm to create capacities and abilities for veterans to create and communicate. That's what we're doing. We're also partnering with Habitat for Humanity to not just provide opportunities, but to provide communities for these veterans. So what can you do? You can visit your local VA facility. Visit your local veterans home. Pick up the phone. Call your senators and tell them, what can I do to help these veterans who've given me so much and sacrificed so much as well? Whatever you do decide to do, never, ever, ever take these freedoms for granted because some of us never make it back. Thank you. <laughs>